Yo, it's John. Hope everyone's having a good day, good weekend so far. And we got, I had no choice but to rob the plug story time. I know what you may be thinking. Another one of these robbing the plug stories, right? And all the other ones, yes, I was a full participant and I wanted to be, right? Not saying that's good, but that's just the truth. This one, I had no idea it was even happening until it was happening, right? And I didn't really have a choice. So that's why I'm talking about it like that. So to set the stage, first of all, the people I was with, I only saw this one time or I only hung out with this one time, right? Um, so in school, I was a freshman, let's say, and there was a kid that was a senior and I saw him maybe twice in the halls and then he got suspended, or not suspended, he got expelled. And no one really knew the story about it until finally he told everybody he slapped the dean and no one really believed him. But then he walked us through the whole story and a couple people went and talked to the dean to see if it was, if it was true. The dean, uh, the dean wouldn't reveal certain details, but the way he was talking about it, everybody thinks it's true. So basically this kid who ended up in who I was hanging out with, right? But this is his like origin story before I knew him, knew him. He walked in, was having an argument with the dean. Apparently, the dean was trying to search him and t just touched him, right? Like, didn't do anything, like, necessarily wrong or physical in any wrong way. He just touched his shoulder, or touched his arm or something like that. And the kid just slapped the hell out of him and then got expelled, you know? I don't, I'm surprised he didn't get any, like, police stuff or get charged with anything. But maybe it was because at the time he was 17 or, I don't know if he was 18 or 17, but... Who knows? Maybe the dean just let him go after that. Maybe he was waiting for him to mess up just to get rid of him, right? Because this kid was a little wild. But uh, yeah, that was his origin story. And then one day, it's cold as hell out. It's snowy. It's gross. I don't even know why I'd be outside. But but I was meeting up to smoke with people. And I can't even remember if this is after school or if like it's way after school and I got invited to come out. Like, I don't know if we just left the school and started hanging out or, you know, if I got a call or a text like, hey, meet us here at this time. But either way, I must have been just, you know, doing stuff on my own. And then I get a text from somebody, hey, come hang out, meet us by the bike path. Now, the bike path um, goes both ways. And one of them goes right by our high school and one goes like into the woods. And it's kind of creepy, but it's cool if you like that kind of stuff, right? So I meet up with them towards the school and I only knew one kid at the time. And then the other kid was the one that slapped the dean. The one I knew, we were on the football team together. But then there was like six to eight other dudes who were all related to the guy who uh, slapped the dean, but I didn't know any of them. I barely knew the guy that slapped the dean, right? And they introduced me and the kid that knew me, he introduced me in kind of a interesting way. Like normally, if you're introducing someone, someone would be like, hey, this is Trent, you know, I play football with him, he's cool, something like that, right? But he was telling stories about things I did that were not very good, right? He was like, yeah, this one time I remember me and him did this, and haven't you done things like that before? And I'm like, yeah, and I thought it was a little weird, but I never even put it together that they were planning to do something like robbing a plug, right? But those were the kind of stories that my friend was telling about me. He's like, you've done that before, right? And I'm like, you know, it's a little weird when you first meet somebody to be saying that. So I was like, I don't, I don't know. Did I do that? And, but the other, the other dudes, kids, whatever you want to call them, because they were older than me, but only by like, you know, four years or three years, it wasn't anything crazy. And, uh, but I still didn't get the idea that we were doing that. So they're like, hey, we're going to walk back to our house. I'm guessing you have weed. They asked me, I'm like, yeah. And they're like, cool. We all, we all have stuff. And there's a good amount at the house. So no need to worry. You know, it's all chill, all cool vibes. Right. But the best way I could say it is they were talking a lot of, a lot of smack on the way over to the house. Right. Just talking like they had done everything in the world. Right. Like every crime they'd gotten away with and they were just talking hard, right? They were, or they were trying to be hard. Maybe not necessarily they were hard, but they were trying to be at least putting on that display. So they're talking about that kind of stuff the entire walk over, and yet I still didn't put it together. So we get there, and it was a, it was a cool little apartment slash house, but it was just hot box when we walk in there. And there was a lot of adults in there, a lot of older people, and I got the tiny feeling of like, hey, maybe I shouldn't be chilling here. But uh, but I quickly got rid of that because there was a lot of blunts going around. And weed is one thing that'll keep me staying in a place even if I don't want to be. 
So they all start smoking, and of course, I'm like, hey, I want to I wanna join in. I had my own stuff, but like I said, they were being nice about that. They were like, hey, you can smoke for free. Don't worry about it. And like now, that maybe wouldn't be such a big deal, but back then when you're like 16 or 15 or however old I was, that was a big deal to me. I was like, wow, these guys are so nice. So we're just smoking, 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 and I stayed there for like two hours. We went in the bathroom and hotboxed the bathroom in there. And but the whole thing was basically hot box. And I know this sounds messed up because everybody's smoking in there, but it's my not my place to say anything. You got to think about this. But there was little kids there, too, like watching TV, playing games and stuff. And then there's all these adults and then us just smoking it up, getting stoned. So eventually they start talking kind of huddled up and I go over there because my friends over there and they still hadn't talked about it, but they were planning it like they were planning it out right there. And I had no idea what they were talking about. They were like, this dude's going to get here. He's going to drop the stuff off. We're going to be here and, you know, we'll we'll get the stuff, walk away, go around the corner, come back here. And I had no idea what they were talking about. I thought they were talking about delivering food, if anything. Like I thought, oh, are they, you know, getting a pizza delivered or getting a you know, just getting food delivered. That's that was my initial thought until things happened. Right. So we're standing there doing pretty much nothing except smoking. And one of the older adults is like, hey, you know, whoever's coming with, we're going to go for a little walk right now. It's time. I still thought it was like a food or just more opportunities to smoke. So I went with and there was probably like 10 of us. Right. And I don't say this like trying to uh, trying to be I don't know. I'm not trying to like make it seem like I wasn't involved at all, but I was the youngest and like the that one other dude, he was with us, but he wasn't like he already knew the guys. I don't know. I felt very out of place with all these people, right? So, we're standing outside and it's cold as hell and we're just standing on a corner, right? Like there was all these apartment buildings and we had walked past all of them and then we're sitting in like this parking lot slash road, right? We're just standing there all of us. So maybe five minutes later of standing there being cold, uh, I can't remember if we were smoking right there, probably, but just standing there, you know, hopping up and down. I've always been really skinny, so I was cold as hell, probably just like, whoo, you know, trying to get warm. All of a sudden, a car pulls up, right? And the dude honestly looked a lot like me, like we looked alike. Like I looked at him when he pulled in and he was a small kid as well probably just got his license and I still didn't know he was a plug I thought maybe he was just someone that was hanging out with us right well one of the adults the older dudes walks up to the car and the window's down and he asks to see the product he's like hey can I see it man and the dude hands him this big old baggie of weed like a like a big bag right and he also said well can I see the quality of the carts and the dude handed him carts too so this plug this plug was not smart right um yeah if you're ever doing these things not that I ever would or not saying you ever should but if you're in that position in life where you're doing those things you don't give people your items you know without taking money first or at least at the same time because that's how you get robbed, right? That's exactly what happened. He's holding this giant bag of weed, which he handed to his friend next to him. And then he's looking at the carts and he's like, this is cool, man, this is cool. And then he just turns around and starts walking away, right? And there's like 10 of us out there. So the dude opens his door and he's like, hey, you need to pay for that. Like, it, you know, I'm, I can't remember what exactly he was saying, but he was pissed, obviously, rightfully so. He was like, hey, what the fuck, guys? Like, you know, where's my money? And he started walking towards him and the dude that was originally holding bag of the weed, the one that like initiated the process that they tec technically robbed him, just turned around and got in his face. And he's like, do you really want to do something about it? Because we're not going to pay you. He's like, if you want to do something about it, you can, but we're not going to pay you. And then all the people that we were standing there all walked behind the guy that, you know, just did that. So now we're all, I walked too, because I'm not going to be the only one that's not you know, helping out. I was just standing there. But we walk around the corner and now all of us are standing there like a goddamn football team lined up like next to each other, just staring this dude down. Like, do you really want to try something? And listen, I wasn't thinking, I, I had no anger in me. I was not thinking like, hey, I'm going to punch this kid or anything. But I'm sure if things would have gone down, I wasn't not going to help out the group I was with, you know? I mean, I don't know. I'm sure nothing would have happened to me. They may have kicked me out, but, uh, there's a chance that they turn on me too if I say I'm not going to help, right? And I have done those things before. So I just stood there staring at the kid just like everybody else, right? 
as soon as we turn around, we go back to the house, we're smoking and stuff. And then I realized that's why they were letting me smoke for free. They knew this was going to happen. And they must have done it a little bit ago because they already had a bag like this in the house, just full of bud. So now there was a second one and we get back to the house and it didn't, it didn't like scare me. Okay. It didn't scare me, but that's not just not what I was trying to do that day. And I was stoned. So I was trying to go home now. Right. And they could sense that, like, I didn't really like what was going on. I was like, hey, guys, I'm going to get out of here. But uh, thanks for letting me smoke and stuff. And they were like, hey, take a goodie bag. And they gave me, like, five to six, maybe even seven grams of just just the bud, right? They just gave it to me. And they're like, here, take a goodie bag. So I'm sure that was like a, hey, don't be mad at us and don't snitch, basically. And I was just on my way after that. The one kid that I was friends with stayed, so... I just walked back and left, dude, and, you know, I walked home with this baggie in my hands, and I don't even think, because I had my jacket on, but the puffer pockets weren't big enough, so I'm just holding this thing at 16 years old, just walking down the street with this giant bag of butt, and I had to walk, like, half a mile home, which wasn't too bad, but, you know, in the winter, it's not too fun, especially in Illinois, it's cold as hell, so, what are you gonna do, right? But, yeah, you could see how, like, I could have gotten out of the situation, but also, I was kind of forced into it. I mean, I was, what are you supposed to do besides help out the boys when things are going down? I mean, they weren't my boys, but one of them was, and you know, it just, it, the, the pros and cons, I was doing it in my head. It definitely outweighed it. Just do the, not do the right thing technically, but just do what you're supposed to do here and go home in a little bit. And it all worked out for me, but sometimes I think about that dude that got robbed. He he was giving these looks to us, me and my friend, like, why aren't you helping? Like, what is this? And we were just standing there staring him down. And I had no anger behind my eyes while I was staring him down. I was just standing there like, like, you know, this is, this is how it goes. This is the world of being a plug. Like, what do you want me to do about it, basically? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you leave a comment, I always answer the positive ones. I try to at least. And if you're going through something, you need someone to talk to for real. My Instagram, same exact name as my YouTube, Fit699. It's also linked in the more info. Go in there and DM me, and I'll get back to you within a day or two. But thanks for watching. Be safe, and peace out. Oh, you can also become a member. You can become a member. Peace out.